November 24th, 1988, the day that would change Kansas State football forever because they hired that guy right there, Bill Snyder. Year number one, and this is something that I didn't know until Zach, one of my longtime subscribers, uh, fed me this information. Snyder only won one game his first year at Kansas State. That's right, just one, 1989. But it was a work of progress because year number three, winning record, and year number five, they won their first bowl game ever. But it wouldn't stop there because Snyder, of course, has won two Big 12 championships. By the way, he's got 193 total wins as he'll be entering his cumulative 25th year in Manhattan. He's in the College Football Hall of Fame and has a stadium named after him. Not bad. Not bad at all. But last year wasn't too good for Kansas State, at least not Bill Snyder standard-wise, okay? They did win their first three games, but then once Big 12 season started, it all came crashing down. They lost their first six conference games, and they had to win their last three just to qualify for a bowl game, which they did, but still finished with a losing record of 6-7, and seven, first time since 2004 that we saw that happen for KSU. So what was the problem? Of course, you know, defense played a big role into it. Pass defense was atrocious, okay? They were getting picked like crazy last season, especially against the high-flying Big 12 offenses of 2015. Now, Injuries played a big, big role into it. Of course, Dante Barnett's uh, 2015 season was absolutely wrecked, but he's back now at strong safety. That'll help. But K-State does return most of their starters on the defensive side, and I think this is going to be an improved area for Bill Snyder's team. Duke Shelley, who saw action as a freshman now um, in his sophomore year, will occupy one corner. Linebackers will be their deepest area. This is going to be a solid group for the Wildcats. I think this is going to be their, their, their strength on this team. Elijah Lee returns 88 tackles a year ago, and Will Davis will compliment him at linebacker as well. The run defense for K-State last year, I'm not going to say it was terrible. I would say it was, you know, just average. Middle of the ballpark nationwide ranking-wise. And Jordan Willis, I think you can expect another good year for him, but he's the most experienced guy on that defensive line. Just not a lot of experience otherwise. But Willis last year had nearly 10 sacks, so that helps. Now, I know KSU is not a pass-happy team, but you can't just be one-dimensional either. I mean, look at that, 108th of the country in passing offense. And not only that, but quarterback from 2015, Joe Huberter, only completed 47% of his passes. And nothing all against Mr. Huberter, okay? But you have a feeling that Kansas State was screwed at quarterback once the beginning of the season started because Jesse Ertz and Alex Delton, the other two QBs, uh, they were done. Phil Pitcher to the injury buck. But you have all three QBs back. I'd probably say right now, Ertz would get the edge. I think Huberter would have had to have one hell of a spring in August up to this point in order to keep his starting position, even though Snyder, as of now, has not named one. At least I don't think he has. Running game, well, wasn't one of the best we've seen from K-State, and they've had a great foundation of running over the years. But Charles Jones seems like he's been there forever. Uh, now enters his senior year. He was the team's leading rusher a year ago, but did not even amass 700 yards. So, kind of see where I'm getting at? Yeah, running game needs to get better, and they'll have a couple of other backs in rotation, including Justin Silman. Receiver, a little more optimistic in this area for KSU. Byron Pringle, he comes from the junior ranks, highly touted, should help out along with Deontay Burton, who, by the way, last year led the team in touchdown receptions, yardage, as well as a uh, number of receptions. And in the offensive line, it will have to develop cohesiveness ASAP. Only one full-time starter on the line is back, and that is the center in Winston Dimmel. Now, that's a road schedule if I ever saw one. Defending Pac-12 champion Stanford may not be as loaded as last year, but remember, they still have Christian McCaffrey, who gained over two grand on the ground a year ago and is a serious Heisman candidate. Got to open with the Cardinal. And, of course, the Big 12 games at TCU, at Baylor, at defending Big 12 champion Oklahoma, even though I know the Wildcats have played well in Norman recently. And you got to make that long trip to Morgantown, face those Mountaineers. And even the game at Iowa State is no gimme. Of course, that game against Texas Tech, watch for that one. K-State will probably need a win to give themselves a much better shot at getting to that necessary six-win plateau in a bowl game. I look for the offense to have their struggle at times. After all, it's practically a brand-new offensive line of starters. And defensively, I do expect much-needed improvement. Look for K-State to find a way to go to a bowl game and get to the necessary six-win plateau again.